And welcome back to You Decide Southern California 2014, where we question the candidates about the issues that you care about. And on the hot seat tonight, right now, is Sharon Quirk Silva. She's the Democratic incumbent running for re election to the State Assembly representing District 65. Her Republican challenger is Young Kim. Now, the 65th district covers seven Orange County cities, including Fullerton, Buena Park, and Anaheim. And welcome to you, Sharon Quirk Silva. Appreciate you being here sitting on the hot seat for us tonight. And Brian, go right ahead. You Thanks. get the first question. Thanks, Tony. So it's really strange when an incumbent is challenged in such a serious way, like you're being challenged this time around. You know, why do you think Republicans have put so much effort and targeted you in particular for the seat mm -hmm. in North Orange County? Well, I think I was a surprise win in the last election, and from the moment I won, there has been an effort to take back uh, this seat. But as you know, this is a changing district with a Republican Democratic registration uh, almost equal and 27 percent declined to state. So, so with that as the case, what do you think you've done to kind of to be a different leader uh, coming from that district to kind of bridge the gap between your ideas and the Republicans in your district? Well, I think my local experience on Fullerton City Council, not only two terms on council, but two terms as mayor, and really working together with my Republican colleagues, majority Republican colleagues, to get things done in Fullerton has set the tone and the values that I've taken to Sacramento. And that's really that uh, we need to work across party lines, break the grid gridlock, and get things done. And no, and well, I'm, I'm curious because before we leave this issue of, of the district and, and how crucial a district it is and how it was supposed to be a safe Republican haven, which it proved not to be when you won back in 2012, it is also a very ethnically diverse uh, community. We're talking uh, a, a, about a community that has a, a substantial Latino population, a substantial Asian population, and substantial Middle Eastern population. How do you? sort of work your way around with all of these groups and, and communicate with all of them and, and reach out to them and actually connect with them. Well, I have deep roots in the committee uh, in the community growing up in Fullerton, being uh, one of 10 children and really raising my family there, but also as a teacher for 27 years with a very diverse uh, classroom, Every, uh, Latino students, Asian students, Vietnamese students. But also I look at the district not as a district as a whole, but a neighborhood to neighborhood, friend to friend, people to people, because we like to paint districts with broad strokes. And when we really get into the neighborhoods, we see uh, door to door, we have Republicans, Democrats, declined to states living even in the same home. And so we have have to be able to figure out how do we work together? How do we communicate together to really, again, solve those critical issues that not only Orange County faces, but our state? On, on some of the really important issues, obviously, in uh, North County of Orange County is uh, Proposition 13. Do you support Prop 13, and would you support any changes to Prop 13? I support Prop 13, and any changes I would not support. I know that my opponent has said that I'm attacking Prop 13, but I can tell you uh, there will always be attempts at the state uh, legislature to bring uh, legislation forward. So all I can do is give you my word where I publicly stated this with the Orange County Business uh, Council, the leading Orange County Business Council, uh, quoting me on this well over a year ago that I have no uh, interest in attacking Prop 13. And, a, and another big issue, obviously, for your district, and I think for all of Southern Californians, is uh, education reform. And there was a huge lawsuit, uh, Vigara, where a group of students uh, sued the governor because they said they don't have um, a quality education. They're trapped in poor performing schools because of unions and other issues. Uh, do you support Vigara or do you oppose the Vigara decision? I oppose the Vigara decision because as a classroom teacher for 27 years, I firmly believe that we have processes in uh, place that uh, if a teacher is not performing and if they are there's any type of misconduct they should be removed immediately but there's processes for temporary and permanent teachers and those processes need to be diligently worked through uh, with the principals vice principal superintendent and school board doing their job so of course we want to make sure we remove any teacher who's not effective but we do have a current process for temporary and permanent teachers and I guess one of the things that I would say is we've seen a lot in the news about the NFL player and misconduct there with a domestic violent and we don't immediately say let's break uh, the NFL players union. What we do is we take those models of great teachers and say let's mentor teachers who are not doing what they're doing. Let's make sure if they're not doing what they need to do in their first two years they're removed. 
All right. Well, Assemblywoman, uh, this is the point uh, in the segment where you get 30 seconds to say anything that you want to say about your candidacy and state your case uh, for the voters out there who will be deciding whether or not you get to go back. Well, first, I am proud to be the current Assemblywoman that represents North Orange County. And I believe that my background for 27 years in the elementary classroom, two terms in local government, leading Fullerton in the uh, most uh, critical time. Uh, also, my work at the State Assembly that has delivered results, our vehicle license fee fixed with Orange County, uh, bringing in $53 million to Orange County to keep public safety on our streets, has shown that I can deliver results. All right, Assemblywoman, thank you so much for coming in and sitting on the hot seat. Really appreciate it. Thank you. And when we come back, some final thoughts, including how you can get in touch with us and share your own comments. We'll be back in a moment. Well, it's your community and your futures, so get into the debate. Tweet out your comments with the hashtag Fox11 and be sure to join the conversation on Facebook and online at MyFoxLA.com. Also be sure to read up and stay informed. You can stay tuned, of course, to the various editions of the Fox11 News and check out the Orange County Register, the Los Angeles Register, and the Press Enterprise, as well as their websites. Have a wonderful night and we'll see you next week for You Decide Southern California 2014.